friends. Welcome to my farmstead dream. I'm Diane and today I am getting my seedlings started. So we're going to work on getting our trays filled up. I've got five trays here. I bought them in a pack from Amazon. If you would like, I can leave a link below to where I found this along with all the other things that I'm using. Um, and that way you can find them too. It'll be easier for you. So anyways, today I am going to work on getting some of my seeds started. It's the beginning of February. Um, and so now it's time to start getting seeds going if you can do them inside. Um, in my zone, I'm 7A, 7B, kind of on the cusp there. And... Um, we still have quite a few frosts to go. Our last frost date is April 7th here in uh, the foothills of East Tennessee. And so um, we're gonna um, go ahead and get our seeds started so that they'll be ready um, by the time our first frost, frost date has passed. So um, yeah, uh, on the last video, I showed you how I built the screen to um, get our um, our dirt screened so that we could get rid of all of the big stuff and so I'm going to um, I'm, I may use this I'm not sure but I also have a seed starting mix which I would prefer to use um, the reason I brought this in is because sometimes your peppers they don't like a very moist um, medium I guess or soil um, so sometimes if you mix a little bit of this in with your seed starting mix, it will help with the peppers, um, so that they don't feel like they're in soggy soil all the time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'll show you the seed starting mix that I'm using. It's this, it's by Jiffy, and I just get it at Home Depot. It has peat moss, coconut core excuse me, and vermiculite. So it's a good, I used it last year and it worked really well for me. So if it works, stick with it. So that's what I'm doing. So we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna plant peppers today, um, some marigolds because marigolds are your best friend in a garden. And last year I fought with the birds eating my seeds for probably a good month before I figured out, I tried the wind chimes, I tried the little um, reflectors, I tried all kinds of things. I got the little owl. Nothing deterred the birds until I planted marigolds in my beds. So, we're going to have marigolds again this year. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my tray. And this is a really... I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can bring you a little closer. Oops. It is a very, very light um, soil, so it gives room for the seeds to be able to move around and not get bound up um, in there when, when they're trying to grow their first roots. Okay, let me sit you back down. Camera wanted to go a little long. Alright, so I'm actually currently sitting at my kitchen table because it's really cold outside. So, <laughs> and I have to kind of be quiet because um, we are, we currently live with my mother in law. She has end stage COPD, and so we moved in with her to help care for her. And she sleeps a lot, so I try to be really quiet um, so that she can sleep as long as she needs to to feel rested. Um, because if you have COPD, um, it can be quite exhausting. And, um, you know, so this is where we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are, um, I know that this channel is called Farmstead Dreams, but I thought I could just tell you a little bit about us and what we're looking to do here while we plant our seeds. 
So, um, we are looking for property to be able to build um, a farmstead. And I call it a farmstead because I want it to be the mix between a homestead and a farm. And so I thought a farmstead would be kind of the perfect term to use for that. And it's been a dream of mine for a very long time to have a farm. And we did have one at one point, um, a very small one. And we, my husband had a heart attack um, and died four times on the table. So it was a very um, touch and go situation. And during the midst of all of that, we had found black mold in our bedroom closet. And so um, when, after he had his, his heart attack, I did not feel safe taking him back to that home. It, we were renting it, but it was a farm. Um, I didn't feel safe taking him back there to heal from, um, a, it was an AR, aortic dissection and um, most people don't survive that. And so I wanted him to have a very good chance of healing and getting back to normal um, without any hindrances or anything to make him sick. So we moved in, we moved out of the farm. And so, um, yeah. So anyway, that was just kind of a sidetrack. I don't know why I even told you that. I guess because it does have something to do with, you know, my dream of having a farm. And I almost had it once. And <laughs> and we, we, you know, while we were there, we, we uh, were able to have several gardens through several years. And learned a lot um and uh, you know it's just kind of a growing thing and so we would like for this channel to be um like an uh, not well like a learning experience you know we're all learning here and you know you see all these videos on youtube about how to do things and you see so many different videos on different ways to do things. And um, so I thought this channel could be sort of a, a let's try it out and see if it works type of, type of channel. <laughs> While we are um, looking for our property and waiting to get our farmstead dream. Um, going but you know I believe that okay so we live with my mother-in-law here and it's a, a very manicured neighborhood so I am very limited to what I can do as far as a garden um, I want chickens so bad I can taste it but I am so far haven't been allowed to have chickens here and um, so I'm doing what I can as I can um, and learning as I go so that when I do find my property and can move there and be able to get my forever farm started or farmstead started, you know, I can have a little bit of knowledge that I need. And maybe if I start here, I can learn all of the things that don't work and do work and that way I'll be better prepared when I get there. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So uh, you may laugh, I don't know, but for right now I am in a neighborhood and I am planting my vegetables in mom's flower beds <laughs> or very manicured flower beds because that's the only place that I'm allowed to plant them. So, um, I may eventually be allowed to expand and have some garden beds, I'm hoping. Um, so, anyway, I said all that to say, this channel is going to be um, kind of uh, y'all sharing in the experience of us learning and um, 
sharing in the experience of us finding our forever farmstead property and getting to move to it. So we would like to share all of that with y'all. But in the meantime, while we're here, we're going to play and have fun and try new things and see what works and what doesn't. And so that's kind of the direction that this channel will take for now until we get to our forever farm. So I'm going to go ahead and finish filling these up because I know y'all don't want to watch that for 20 more minutes or however long it'll take me. <laughs> and then I'll come back and we'll sow some seeds. Okay, real quick, before we plant the seeds, I wanted to show you what I do to mix um, my seed starting mix in with the soil um, for the peppers. So I'm just going to... I don't have anything else to kind of mix them in right now so I'm just going to pour some of my seed starting mix in the top of the bowl and just kind of mix it in and then we'll go from there so just going to pour some of this in and again this is so the peppers don't have to feel like they're sitting in um, saturated soil and they'll be a little happy my bag don't want to stand up okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hand and just kind of grab some soil from the bottom and just kind of mix it in with my seed starting mix. Now, never done this before. Don't know if it'll work. I did struggle with my pepper seeds last year. So I'm trying something different and we'll see if it works. And again, that's kind of what I was talking about when I was talking about, you know, having this channel be to start out with be something that we try new things and see if they work and if they don't work we try other things so just mixing this in now if you want to use garden tools to do this you can I kind of like getting my hands dirty because number one it's good grounding uh, for your hands to touch the soil and and come in contact with all those good microorganisms. It's very healthy for you. So I don't mind getting my hands a little dirty and it just kind of excites me to be able to start getting my hands dirty knowing that garden season's coming. Okay, so I've got that mixed in. So that's kind of what it looks like. So that's pretty simple. So we'll see how it does with our peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my pepper tray and then we'll come back and plant some seeds. Okay, so this is my seed starting binder, um, or my seed binder. It's where I keep all of my seeds. And I went on Amazon and I got these little, these are like photo sleeves, but they fit these seed packs perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull out my pepper seeds and we'll plant those first. Okay, so don't laugh at my pile of seeds, but these are all pepper seeds because around here we love peppers and we love tomatoes and I like trying different peppers. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, I have some peppers that I grew from plants last year um, from Walmart. I got the plants from Walmart because, you know, I told you I struggled with my peppers last year. And so we're going to see, I saved the seeds, or some of the seeds, and we're going to see if we can grow them. Now, I tried that in the year of 2022 um, with some peppers. These candy cane peppers are delicious. I love them. This was also a plant that I bought from Walmart. Um, and I saved the seeds, and I tried to plant some last year. But they did not work. Um, I didn't get good germination. But I think it's because I didn't have, um, I didn't have heat pads and I didn't have grow lights. I just tried to germinate them outdoors um, after the last frost date. So that did not work at all. It took forever for the peppers to grow. I think I stunted their growth. Um, peppers don't like temperatures, um, cold temperatures. So you have to keep them warm and they don't like going into cold soil. They like to be in warm soil. So um, we're gonna try, we're gonna try some of these from my 2022 plant. We're gonna try some of these from my 2023 plant. And um, 
we'll see how it goes. And then we're going to try some, you know, from seeds, seed packs that I bought. So I have all different kinds here. So we're just going to get started. Um, with my little pack of trays uh, that I'm planting my seeds in, I got these little tools to kind of help um, plant my seeds. So we're going to use those. And then last year from Amazon, I ordered these um, uh, plant labels, and they have this neat little marker in it. Now, um, if you use the Sharpie marker, it kind of it, it, it'll wash away. But if you use the little marker that came with these plant labels, I don't know, it has something different in it that keeps it from, keeps the, the ink from fading off your label. So we'll use this to label all of our seeds. So what I may do is just kind of speed this up a little and then come back at the end and kind of show you what I did or what I planted uh, in my tray. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so these are our seeds that we have planted. These are all of my peppers. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is instead of making this video longer because it's gotten quite longer, uh, long, um, I think in the next video I'll come back and um, I'll go ahead and plant all my seeds, but I'll come back and show you um, my grow light set up and where I have it. and. And then we'll go from there. So happy gardening to all of you. May all of your seeds germinate and bring you great joy this gardening season. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Big hugs.